Hello and what's up YouTube? In this video, I will show you the latest update to the high voltage source of my homemade powder coating gun. If you have seen my previous videos, you'll remember that I made this power supply using this high voltage generator module or taser module. And unfortunately, it has a lot of shortcomings. The description of this item says it's 1000 kilovolt, which is far cry from true. Looking at the product specifications, you see that it, it draws somewhere in between 2 to 5 amperes. That is relatively high current and cost me at least two busted AC adapters. As it says here, the high voltage output is pulse type or switching on and off. And that, I think, is what causes some issues with the powder, sometimes not getting charged. Here it says the product needs intermittent short-term work of only 5 seconds. Otherwise, it may overheat. And as it says here, this item can be easily broken, which is very true. So basically, this high voltage module sucks at powder coating application. That is why I thought of making a much better high voltage generator. As it turns out, there are many different ways to generate high voltage DC, and it is not too difficult to achieve. Initially, I experimented with this discarded mosquito rocket, and I am after the circuit board. With that, I will pair it to a Cockcroft Walton voltage multiplier. I'm only using the step-up transformer and the oscillator circuit, so I removed all the other components. As you can see here, I'm only left with a couple of resistors, a LED, a transistor, and the transformer. It is important to determine the secondary of the transformer because that will be the input of the voltage multiplier. You can easily trace the secondary of the transformer in the PCV as it is not electrically connected to the low voltage side of the circuit. I bought these high voltage capacitors and diodes and just quickly connected them in Cockcroft Walton voltage multiplier circuit only for this experiment. I supply 4 volts to the circuit and as you can see here, we are getting some decent corona discharge and high voltage arcs. This by itself can be used as the high voltage generator of the powder coating gun if these are the only components that you have available. And this same voltage multiplier circuit is the ones used by those professional powder coating guns, as in this example. You can clearly see the step-up transformer, capacitors, and diodes in Croft Walton voltage multiplier arrangement. You can tell by the lines in the last diode that the output is connected to the anode, and therefore the high voltage output is negative. This is the circuit diagram of the high voltage cascade that I am going to build. It will be a 5 stage cascade and in theory the final output voltage will be 10 times as high as the input to this voltage multiplier. Take note of the arrangement of the diodes as the output is made to be negative, just like the usual powder coating guns. For the step-up transformer, I bought this small 15 kV high voltage generator in the internet. This is sold as a kit, so requires some assembly. So in theory, with the 15 kV output of this module and the 5 stage cascade, it should give us a final output of at least 100 kV. That is the standard output of most professional powder coating gun. To assemble the high voltage cascade, I used this piece of plastic that I got from the refrigerator. It will serve as the spacer between the capacitors and a backbone of my high voltage cascade. A 
I used double-sided tape to attach the capacitors, making it easier to solder them together. I bought this toothbrush case to enclose my high voltage cascade circuit and it is a good fit inside. I'll just need to cut the excess length later. The 15 kV transformer also need to go inside so need to trim the edges of the PCB for that to fit in. Here is the completed high voltage cascade ready for some tests. I put a 1 mega ohm resistor in series to the output to limit the current. I set the input voltage to the cascade to around 4 volts. The green and yellow wires are connected to earth ground. I put it on a ceramic plate because on initial testing, the electrostatic charge is so high that it charges the tabletop and shock me. I turn off the lights and you can see that we are getting some pretty intense purple colored corona discharge. So I'm pleased with the result. Here is the completed high voltage cascade for my homemade powder coating gun and the components used. I plan to pot it or fill with clear epoxy just like the professional cascades. That is to protect the components from arching which can damage them. Now let's see if it can charge the powder coming out of the gun. I put together this gun for the purpose of testing only, so just ignore the gun for now. I will spray some powder at first with the power turned off, so that we can see the effect of electrostatic charge. You can see that without the high voltage electrostatic charge, the powder just falls down after heating the aluminum plate. Now I will connect the positive and negative power supply to the cascade and turn it to about 4 volts. The green wire clips into the aluminum plate and the ground connection of the high voltage cascade, which is also connected to the earth ground.
Now, when I spray the powder with the power turned on, the paint powder sticks to the part very efficiently and almost no waste. So I'm very pleased with the results. This is way much better than my first version of the power supply using the Taser module. The low voltage DC input to the cascade came from that bench variable voltage power supply. I made out of an old UPS, so go check out my other video how I made that. Now when I blow out the powder from our test piece, you can tell that it sticks very well as they are not easily blown up. So overall, very good results. And that is all for now, guys. Thank you very much.